Microsoft recently announced Python in Excel, letting users type Python script directly into Excel cells. This integration merges Python and Excel natively within the same workbook. For a data-hungry field like AI and machine learning, it's a game changer, as you can easily manage your source data as a table in Excel and use Pandas data frame to work on the data and finally use matplotlib to plot the result all on the same worksheet. Python in Excel is currently in preview in Office 365 running on Windows using the beta channel. So to access and use this new feature, you must hold an Office 365 subscription and you have to join the Microsoft 365 Insider program. Python in Excel is gradually rolling out. So even if you join the Microsoft 365 Insider program, it may take some while till you get access to it. Keep in mind that the Python scripts run in the cloud, so you need an internet connection to use it. On the other side, you do not need to install Python on your machine, as it comes with a standard set of Python libraries provided by Anaconda. The core libraries matplotlib, numpy, pandas, seaborn, and stats models are imported by default as we will see later in the initialization section. But there are other libraries you can import, ranging from Beautiful Soap for web scrapping to Scikit-learn for machine learning. A list of the libraries you can use is listed on support.microsoft.com and the link is provided in the description. To get started with Python in Excel, I recommend using a fresh installation of Office 365 on Windows. Launch Excel and create a new workbook. Navigate to the File menu and select Account. As of September 2023, Python in Excel is on the Beta Channel. To choose the Beta Channel, click on Microsoft 365 Insider and select Change Channel. Here you can choose the Beta Channel. Read the information regarding data privacy and the use of unsupported builds carefully. After selecting the beta channel, check Apply Updates, agree the terms and condition, and click OK. I'm already on the beta channel. As Python in Excel rolls out gradually, it may take some time before you get access to it. But Microsoft updates the beta channel weekly. In my case, it took a week till I had access to the Python features. This may vary depending on your region. Check for Office updates regularly. And after you update Office, go back and check formulas. If the Insert Python button appears, congratulations! Python in Excel is enabled and you can start using it. First of all, we can try some of the provided samples. Let's add a sample to test the Pandas data frame, and maybe a sample to see some pair plots. It takes a short time till the charts are plotted. Let's begin with the Pandas sample. Here in cell G2, we created a data frame called sample underscore df from our table in Excel. And in cell G4, we used the describe function of pandas on the sample underscore df data frame to get some statistical information about the numeric columns of our data frame. The order matters, and it's from top to bottom and from left to right. So if we move the G2 cell below G4, then in cell G4, sample underscore df is not defined, and we get an error. So let's move it back and go to the next sample. Here we see that we get a pair plot chart and some visual information from the table with just a few lines of Python script. This shows the beauty and power of Python now combined with the flexibility of Excel. Let's go back to our first blank worksheet and dive deeper. If you click on Initialization, we see the preloaded core libraries. We see that Pandas is loaded, but we do not know which version. As Pandas 2.0 brings a lot of changes, it's important to know which Pandas version is preloaded here. So we add some text in B2 as usual, and in B3 we type equal PY and then hit Tab. Here we define a variable PD underscore version and assign the version of pandas to it. To see the value of the variable in the Excel cell, we simply write the name of the variable, just like we do in Jupyter Notebooks. 
If we hit enter, we go to the next line. We need to hit control enter to commit and run the Python script and we see 1.5.3 as the result in the Excel cell. So keep in mind that the imported pandas version is not the latest version. We can put this information in a F string and print it out. The output goes to diagnostics. Consider it like the console. Let's clear and reset. As you can see, the output of sheet 1 cell C2 appears in diagnostics and we see the result of the F string as version 1.5.3. In conclusion, Python in Excel is, in my opinion, the most innovative and evolutionary leap for Excel to date. And it's a time-saving and useful feature, especially when you're working with a lot of data. If you are an Excel user and always wanted to start programming, this is the best chance to start learning a beginner-friendly programming language like Python. So get started and use ChatGPT to guide you and speed up your learning curve as learning Python was never been easier than it's today. Good luck.